What's up guys? Welcome back. We're talking about river baits today. My favorite baits to target smallmouth bass when I'm in the river. Now you can catch largies, but today smallmouth is on the docket. What baits I'm throwing to get after these fish? So I got a bunch of baits here, but I'm going to kind of break it down like this. I'm going to give you a couple different rods that you can throw these baits on and you're good to go. Let's start out. Number one is your finesse combo, whether that's a spinning setup or a bait casting setup, whatever technique or whatever rod that you choose your, your setup that can comfortably throw an eighth ounce bait all the way up to say three eighths of an ounce. Today I got this Stratic, this new, the new Stratic FL here, 2,500. 10 pound braid with like a seven pound leader fluoro and i'm throwing this okashira screw head you guys know how much i love this bait if you guys have been checking out the channel lately let's start out right here it's a mega bass bait it's just a simple little jig head guys it's got an awesome little keeper and it's got a prop on it you can get it with or without the prop i'm definitely going to say river fishing for smallmouth go with the prop and then put on your favorite little paddle tail right there. 2.8 inch, a three inch bait is gonna do wonders for you. And when this thing's in the water, this thing's gonna be spinning like crazy. I can't tell you how many fish I've caught with this. Large mouth definitely smash it, but small mouth just do not like this bait in the most greatest of ways. Let me tell you, I've caught a bunch of fish on this and they, it, it's really, it really holds up to the punishment too. Like I said, your favorite trailer on here, this is a Bass Pro bait. This is about three inches, but you can go with Kai Tech. You can go with the Spark Shed. Whatever your little favorite little swim bait is, whatever it is, throw it on the back of this and give it a shot. It's definitely gonna catch a ton of fish for you. Number two, with that same rod, I don't throw it as much, but it's gonna be a deadly alternative. The straight up dark sleeper. Sticking with Mega Bass, this bait is nuts. Let me pull it out of the pack here. I'm gonna say go with a smaller presentation. This thing can go all the way up to like a nice ounce size. It's a big bait, but I'm staying. Stick with this small little quarter ounce here. Get this out. I believe this is like Donko or something. This is a dark one. I'll link it down below with all this stuff that I'm recommending. Little dark sleeper. It's got the, you've probably even heard of this bait already. It's got a little dorsal fin that hides the little jig hook right there. But again, it's gotta go on your finesse setup whether that's a bait finesse, bait caster, or a spinning setup, this thing is cash. I mean, you got the little tail there, that's gonna be wiggling. The beauty of these baits, to pull this one in again, is obviously they have their own action because there's a tail, but you guys need to realize that the current is gonna be your friend when you're in the river. Sometimes it can be your enemy, but in this situation, it's gonna be your friend. You can really let this thing drift. This blade's still gonna be spinning. This is still gonna be kicking, and it's, these fish point up the river current. They're, imagine the current coming down. These fish are stacking up in front of whatever structure, above structure, that they can to ambush the debris or the little, the little fish that are getting pushed down the river when the current picks up. These two are amazing. I'd say if you want to try vertically jigging, this dark sleeper has been money. Unfortunately, pike do like this bait too and this, so you're going to lose a few but don't put on a steel leader. That's just gonna ruin the action. All right, next, we're gonna move on to kind of your traditional bait caster combo. Anything you're throwing from 3 8 up to 3 quarters of an ounce, I'd stay stick to the 3 8 half ounce area. A swim jig, very similar to that Okashira head, but not just your any swim jig, guys. I'm really gonna be honing in on a swim jig with a rattle. Let me let you hear this. It's a very faint rattle, but that thing in the water has caught so much attention lately in the river for me. Smallmouth, big smallmouth, really like this. I know what you guys are saying. What about the chatterbait? Don't forget the chatterbait. I love the chatterbait, guys, but the vibration off of that blade, I think I have one here, I do. The vibration off this blade, I've been experimenting, throwing it still. Yeah, I love the chatterbait, like I said, I love this bait. 
the smallmouth just don't key in on that that vibration as much as say this knocker on the swim jig when I said those fish are staging up, a lot of them, at least where I'm at, if you're fishing the Grand River in Michigan, I fish a stretch of the Grand very often. There's not a lot of back eddies. There's not little points for these fish to dive into. So these smallmouth are stacking up on rock piles. And let me tell you, there's a lot. So consider the swim jig again with the knocker. It really grabs their attention. But that's been my experience. The largemouth definitely tend to grab on to that chatterbait more. But if you're looking for specifically smallmouth, try the swim jig with the rattle or add a rattle to your favorite swim jig before you consider the chatterbait just because it's a different vibration, different sound in the water. This right here is the Booyah swim jig. It's probably one of the most ugly swim jigs. It's got this pointed head. It's not my favorite visually wise, but I can't not throw it because it's just so dang effective. Again, put your own favorite trailer on there. This is a 3.8. I really like something bold this time of year in the swim jig. I got this gill, got this gill here, and I got the chartreuse blue. Another option is like a bass or a perch look. I just like the chartreuse look this time of year. Blues with the reds, it really gets them going. And an alternative is just to go white. If you're looking for even more flash, if you've got the mud, that nasty stuff, you can't go wrong with all white, guys. This right here is a dirty jig swim jig, no rattle, but I've beefed it up with a screw-in blade. I much prefer a, a gold blade in the river when it's murky, but this has been effective. So whatever you wanna try, if you want kind of like a smaller version of a spinnerbait, this attracts them as well. But if you want that ultimate smallmouth attractant, I'm just saying this knocker is cash. All right, next, instead of the swim jig, how about a, just a traditional pitching jig? This is a dirty jigs pitching jig. This is cash. I'd say go half ounce to start and then work your way down. If you're gonna throw just a straight up jig, because the current will walk it around and you'll get stuck but these rock piles on a bigger head really is effective if you want to learn more about jigs i'll link up another video up above but this really good just throw it out there give it a couple hop hop if nothing's moving reel it in i really like to pair it up with this x zone crawl i'll show it to you guys real quick again i like the blues this time of year a broken claw I must have been cashing in on it this cache right here, Okeechobee Crawl, Floating Crawls, man. Let me just rig this baby up. Take five seconds to rig it up for you. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna go green pumpkin up because it's not that murky right here right now. Boom. Bow. Oof. Maybe trim it up a little bit, but essentially you got yourself dinner for these smallmouth. There is a natural spring in the stretch of the Grand that I'm fishing. I don't even know how many smallmouth, a lot of small ones in there, but they really like to, to bunch up next to that natural moving water. It's a little warmer there, so they like to bunch in. Get snagged up a lot, but you can't go wrong with a straight jig if you're not willing to try that swim jig. All right, now we're moving on to the last one. Last setup that you're gonna need is some sort of crankbait setup or a topwater setup. This is way more than you need right here, all the Baron with an X Pride, but essentially just your crankbait or topwater setup for these two baits. I'll say, in my opinion, a topwater slash jerkbait rod pairs better with a crankbait than say a crankbait rod pairs with a topwater, if that makes sense. I think a crankbait rod just is a little too parabolic for some of these baits. But if you have a crankbait rod, give it a go. It's not gonna be the end of the world. Number one, you all know it, square bill crankbait. I love to run the edges of the banks with this bait. I love to bang this over. Like I said, those rock piles, there's a lot of deflection out of this bait. Again, chartreuse, blue, white, a very, very bold pattern. Like I said, it's a little clear still out there, but I'm still throwing this bait. I want it to get noticed. And if the fish don't wanna come after it, that's fine. There's one out there that's gonna. The bigger ones are gonna. It's got a knocker. I really like knockers in the river because with all that crap going on, all that current, there's a lot of sound going on down there that you, you're just not hearing. I want to stand out. 
crankbait, square bill with some sort of knocker or rattle and run that thing parallel to the bank or bang it over the rock piles. Retrieve is going to be your burn, 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 pause, burn, 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 pause. Don't straight retrieve it. You'll get bites, but not the bites you're looking for. Alternative to the crank, finally, this crazy looking mofo right here. This is the jackal pompadour. Got in the blood, bloody gill, some sort of gill flavor right here. If you haven't thrown this bait, it's very similar, but not the same as say a jitterbug. You're gonna throw it out there. These blades are gonna fold up. It's gonna fly through the air or whatever, and then it's gonna land. And you can walk it if you want, but you're gonna straight retrieve it, and it's gonna do a bunch of wobbling. The smallmouth cannot stand this sound. I really love this bait. Right before rain in the shallower parts of the river, uh, definitely above those rock piles, like I said, shallower, kind of the better. Not, not too shallow though, you'll snag up. The sound this thing makes eh, that bounces off these rocks, I don't think these fish can stand it. I don't think they want it. They don't want to eat this. I wouldn't want to eat this. I think it's the sound that they just want it to freaking stop. I've caught my PB smallmouth on this, a 5.5 five, a couple years ago right before rain like i said and it was a blast i just couldn't believe it so you've got to try this jackal pompadour if you're afraid of it maybe try walking bait but don't try this pompadour and you can walk it back and forth if you want like a jerk bait or a walking bait but this straight retrieve has been amazing it's going to bounce back and forth and then you got your prop in the back that's just going to turn up even more water they can't stand it but i love it so those are a couple baits. I love all these baits. I mean, you got your top water, you've got your swim jig, you've got an arsenal of baits here that you can get away with on three rods. So if you're on foot, absolutely try this method here. You're gonna hone in on what these fish want and what they don't want, and you're gonna transition from there. If you're in the boat, you have pretty much have everything you could possibly need. So why don't you just dial it in, try like this. I recommend starting with something moving first, swim jig, rather than slowing down onto this because you can cover way more water with a crank as you know or the swim jig this okashira head than a traditional drig jig that's bouncing on the bottom so start with something quick try these baits try them in some flash some chartreuse some blues some yellows and see what happens for you guys let me know if you're smashing and let me know if you're not on these baits hope this video helped you if it did Throw me a like. That's the greatest way you can support real stories. I thank you for all your support. Thank you for tuning in. If you ended this video with me, you're a real one. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.